The letter's final chapter teaches that everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born from God. The second verse provides instruction concerning loving the children of God yet again, this time in relation to loving God and keeping His commandments. The verse that follows it is critical in that it provides a definition of what it means to love God, that being that we keep His commandments. Verses 4 and 5 share information about overcoming the world. Through the use of a question, the fifth verse explains that he who overcomes the world is he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. The next section provides various testimonies and is made up of verses 6 through 12. It mentions Jesus Christ is coming through water and blood and that the Spirit is testifying because the Spirit is the truth. The ninth verse expresses the superiority of the testimony of God over that of mere men, while the tenth states that he who does not believe God has made him a liar because he does not believe the testimony that God has testified concerning his Son. Verse 12 ends the section by not only teaching that he who has the Son has life, but also the negative form of this statement as well. Verse 13 also speaks of everlasting life. Following this, verses 14 through 17 discuss making request of God. Verses 18 through 21 mention a number of things that are known and are the last verses in the letter. Many of these make reference to God or His Son, Jesus Christ. The 20th verse not only refers to knowing Him who is true, but also being in Him who is true, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and everlasting life. The 21st verse ends the letter with the words, My little children, guard yourselves from idols. Amen. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch these videos about 1 John. I hope that they have been beneficial to you. And have a nice day.